so where are we, Doc? Where is it? Scott, right now we're smack dab in the middle of 2018. Of course, keep in mind I'm from the year 1985. It's heavy, Doc. There's that word again, heavy. Why are things so heavy in the future? Must be a problem with Earth's gravitational pull. Great, Scott. I'll see you in the future. On my last vlog, I was at a movie studio, and uh, we're at another one today. This one's a little bit different. It has a theme park attached to it. That's right, we're here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Let's go take a look, shall we? Today's vlog will be a little different than usual. Instead of being short and sweet, I'm including a lot of footage here. Illuminati confirmed. Oh, wait, N never mind, my bad. As you stroll around the park, you notice some uh, movie cars hanging out. It's an actual Duesenberg from the 30s. This old relic was used in Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Check this thing out. It's Landmine from the Transformers movie. You can even sit on some of these vehicles. There's plenty of gift shops in the park loaded with merch. I'm a Back to the Future fanatic, so I found my niche here. Check this out. It's a replica of Mr. Fusion from the Back to the Future movies, signed by the cast. $2,800? Hmm. I guess I can max out my credit card. Speaking of Back to the Future, the area that used to house the Back to the Future ride has been redesigned and is now Springfield from The Simpsons. Back to the Future of the Ride has been replaced with um, Krusty Land. I'm not sure I'm feeling that. They even have Moe's here. With a real functioning bar inside, so you can get yourself a cold draft. However, the pricing is a little steep. And they do have food, in case you're hungry and you want to eat a room temperature burger made of cardboard and salt. But not everything here is expensive. If you're on a budget like me, they have plenty of performers wandering around the park to enjoy for free. And they have plenty of neat things to discover, like this Jurassic World statue made from Legos. Another change to the park since the last time I was here is this whole Harry Potter world. I'm not really into the whole Harry Potter thing, but it's so well done, anybody can appreciate it. Check out that kid dressed up as Harry Potter. Now that's a true fan. Wandering around, you start to notice some interesting things. The window displays are interactive. Yes! If you wave your magic wand, you can make a variety of things happen. How are these teacups dancing around while pouring tea? Will the wonders never cease? What's that you say? You don't own a magic wand? Have no fear, they have quite an assortment to choose from. I understand that candy plays a big role in the Harry Potter movies, and they have a candy shop full of some of the items from the movies.
the interiors of these shops are really well done. There's lots to see in here, beside your typical theme park merch. And if you get hungry, there's this amazing restaurant. Check this thing out. It looks like it's straight out of a movie. Just don't eat before you go on this ride. Look at that thing, it's massive! Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. It has one of the longest lines in the park. Even if you don't go on the ride, that's really impressive. This used to be the Terminator 3D show here. Now it's a Minions area. Super silly fun land. If you have kids, don't forget to bring them a swimsuit and a towel. They have a cool little water park. My favorite item here are the minion goggles. Perhaps I'll ditch my sunglasses and start wearing these in my vlogs. What, are, what do you think? An oldie but a goodie. The studio tour. That's right, you get to tour an actual working movie lot. On the way in, you can see a roster of what's being filmed on each stage. What is this? Pick up your 3D glasses here. Again, I haven't been to Universal Studios for a long time. Yes, thank you, Bruce. We're present a little deeper into the Metropolitan set. You can see they're quite expansive. They do a lot of new Mr. Red movies. And as you go back, they go first to Back to the Future films with a Michael J. Fox and Chris Lloyd off to your left. Big City Hall structure at the top center. That is where Doc Brown harnessed the bolt of lightning. So we're going to fly back to the future in the first film. You used to be able to drive over that rickety looking bridge, and once you got to the middle, it would start to cave in. Apparently, that has been replaced with this. It's a King Kong themed attraction, which replaces an older King Kong, which got burned down about 10 years ago. Um, apparently, it's just a 3D movie projected around the tram that you watch while you get violently tossed around. <laughs> I gotta say, major disappointment. And here is my favorite part of the tram tour. This is the only place in the world where I get to see some of the Back to the Future 2 vehicles. I've always wanted to buy an old Ford Probe and make it look like that. Oh, it looks like they even got some Fast and Furious cars now. What I wouldn't give to have that Nissan Skyline right there. There's actually a guy that lives in my area that has one of these. He bought an old Mercedes SUV and turned it into a Jurassic vehicle. 
And on our left hand side, we have the big camouflage RV, was the mobile lab unit in the Lost World Jurassic Park. Also, all throughout here, a lot of odds and ends out of cooking boxes, dino cages, barrels, maybe uh, an empty plant I guess you might say. At the far end of the mobile lab unit, we have the converted Humvee. It's got the swoop chairs on the side, and we're on that three by ourselves. Also, we're going to have a look at some of these big, uh, like, home trees. Oh, yeah. Dude, that raptor just spit all over me. This is another one of my favorites on the tram tour because it has lots of explosions. You can never have too many explosions.
get in. What is this? They have a new Fast and Furious attraction? I can't wait to check this out. Oh no, it's another one of these 3D movie things. I guess I can see why they do it though. When a movie gets unpopular, they can easily swap out the footage and put a fresh coat of paint on the building and they have a whole new ride. just a video on a screen. I mean, I can get that at home. Not a fan. Goodbye, 3D glasses. All right. After watching a bunch of movies projected on screens, I felt it was time for a real, actual attraction with physical things inside of it. I apologize for some of the footage in here. The interior of this building is very dark. They don't want you using cameras in here, and it was a little too dark for my spy camera to get any decent footage. However, it was very enjoyable. Oh! Those types of monsters are a little too intense for you. There are other monsters roaming around that you can take a selfie with. Universal Studios Hollywood is very different from its Orlando counterpart. One half of it is at the top of a hill, and what you see down below there is the other half, which includes the actual working sound stages and one of everybody's favorite ride, Jurassic Park. It also has one of the longer lines around, but if you don't feel like waiting for the ride, they have a couple cool sideshows. Could ask one more time, see if you can get this other one. Go ahead. Okay. We hold. Guys, big round of applause for Zoe. Great job. Awesome, let's continue. So what that is, Zoe's friendly with Blue. 
They've worked together a few times. Raptor selfies, anyone? Some of the other rides in the lower lot include Revenge of the Mummy, which is an indoor roller coaster. And if you feel like spending all day in line, they also have the Transformers 3D ride. Out of everything in the park, my favorite attraction is Waterworld. The movie, not so great. The attraction, amazing. Is that a Vlognosis fan? Nice sunglasses. I approve. The future. The polar ice caps have melted. And the continents are deep beneath the waves. The survivors live on these floating fortresses known as atolls in this place called Waterworld.
once the show ends, if you're lucky, you can actually meet up with the cast. Hey, can I get a video with you? Hey, what are we doing? I don't know. I just are we, want to are say recording hi. Right now? I'm recording right now. So I don't even know what we're, well, we don't know what we're gonna say. I don't know. I, I don't really have any lines. Nobody gives uh, me a script for life. I'm just supposed okay. to make life up as I go. I, I don't well, know. That's absurd. Saying. I know. That's what I tell my producer. Thought, but yeah, you like, know, um, they don't even, they don't even send me a paycheck. Just, okay. Well, I'll write you this. When the river wills, wivers in the wind. The wind will wiver back. Oh, nice and chubby baby. It's from Animaniacs. <laughs> that's not even mine. I, I won't. I won't tell anybody. Yeah. No, just that's that's the secret between us. Hi. Hey, how's it going? It's very good. Ah! Okay. Look at this guy. I think he was the star of the show. <laughs> Yeah, you look familiar. Hi. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Where are you from? I am actually from Los Angeles. LA, I love it. Yeah, yeah. Well, with traffic, you can yes, sometimes. Definitely. Yeah. This is actually my favorite oh, show. Yeah? In the park. I love oh, thank it. Every you. time I come here, I see it. That means so much to us. Job. Thank you. It was a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Take care. Bye. Well, the long day is over. It's time to join the hordes of people exiting the park. And it's time to find a quiet place to lay my head for the evening. Good night, everyone. <laughs>